This door is locked and will stay that way forever. Babe alert! A sleek, sweaty super chick works out on the stair machine, wearing a shiny polyester workout suit. What more could you ask for? Truly, here's your perfect woman. Big breasts and man-made fabrics. It's a leg bench, a state-of-the-art resistance machine designed to firm up those quadrupeds, define those incisors, and trim those sartorials. This huge barbell probably weighs more than you do. It also gets picked up more often. Some egghead is actually trying to read while she gets her cellulite redistributed. And... This is the weight room, where you can find everything you need to beef up. Put some ripples on your bread basket lose that beer gut and see a little cheesecake. Hmm, suddenly I feel hungry. Hi, cutie. How you doing? What? You, climb on, lay down and shut up, boy. My name is Christina Priscilla Diana Van Dyke. Oh, do I have to remember all that? But, the only people who called me that are dead now. No. Oh. You may, and in fact will, call me Thunderbird. Sure, anytime. But first, how's about you doing a little something for me? Halt! You may only admire these from afar. Hello, miss. I couldn't help but notice the muscles in your inner thighs. What? I mean, I couldn't help notice the, um, magic in your intense eyes. Hey! Get that away from my face! Nice outfit. When are you going to stop having your mommy pick out your clothes? Oh, she doesn't pick out my clothes anymore. I think a 90s guy has to know when to bypass the fickle whims of Paris haughty couture and stick with the stylish lines of a true classic. Hence, the white leisure suit has become, how may I say it, something of a symbol of mine. Hmm. I see. I gotta admit, it's you. I thank you. You don't know how many people comment on it. Oh, I can imagine. What brings you to La Costa Lada, little boy? Oh, 
I'm here on a junket, actually. <laughs> you see, I was one of the winners of a recent broadcast of Stallions, that hot new TV show for hot new studs like, um, what? So I suppose you'll be here for the two-week visit, instead of the weekend the first place guys receive. Gosh, Thunderbird, you sure do know your TV shows. I should. How do you think I got here? So, babe, um, what do you say you and me get to know each other a little better? Honey, there's not much about you I need to know. And there's not much about me you'd care to learn. But, I suppose a little session later on would be okay. I just have one problem, Larry. Uh, problem? Uh, what problem, T-Bird? That's Thunderbird to you, Larry. Oh, my problem is simple. I'm having so much fun here that I wore out my only pair of handcuffs. So, if you want to have fun with me, you'll have to bring me a little hardware. Handcuffs? Where am I supposed to get handcuffs at a health spa? That's your problem, Laffer. All I know is, I'm gonna sit here and work this machine until you do. So come back anytime, but bring a little hardware with you. Handcuffs? Where am I sp That's your problem. That guy looks just like you. Oh, sure. He may be a little more bulked up, and his hair may be a little thicker, and he may be a little taller, but overall the physique is kind of similar. A young couple sits in the champagne glass spa, enjoying each other more than the bubbles. This mud bath looks too hot. A video camera is mounted on the wall beside that air vent. It enables La Costellata's crack security force to keep an eye on activities here in the mud room. Hello, my name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Allow me to slip out of this warm, caressing mud for a moment, Larry. I'm Charlotte Donay, but you may call me Shaw. I hope you'll excuse the way I'm dressed. Oh, I think you'll look just perfect. <laughs> yep, never seen better. Say... Who's that peeping out of the mud? Oh, my poor dear. You are lonely, aren't you? Sorry, no mud samples are necessary. You are one of the most beautiful women I've ever met, Char. Oh, darling, you're so sweet to say that. But really, I'm just a simple, electricity-loving woman. Just give me a few heavy-duty details, and I'm set for the evening. You don't mean that literally, do you? I mean, you're not one of those, you know, one of those. Those? Oh, heavens no! Let's just say I love my stimulation wherever I find it. But I am totally partial. I prefer the real thing above the artificial every time. What in the hell are we talking about? Is there anything you'd like, Char? Um, Perhaps I could buy you a drink? Drink? Oh no, the attendant here keeps us all in fruit juice. 
But you know, there is one thing. Anything, babe. Anything your breast and, and, I mean, your heart desires. There's one thing I need that I haven't been able to find at La Costa Lada. Oh, tell me. Anything you want. I promise. If I can get it, it'll be yours. Oh, that's great. And the way I see it, when I get what I want, then you get what you want. <gasps> what exactly is it you want, my sweet Chardonnay? Simple. I could really use six D cells for my um, late night friend. Huh? She has a battery powered David Letterman? Well, that sounds easy enough, Char. Why, sure, Larry. After all, how hard can it be? Yeah, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. I'm off, Char, but uh, I'll be right back with your batteries. Using the plumber's wrench, you loosen the large bolt holding the video camera in place. Then turn the camera so it's looking directly into the women's shower. Too bad you can't see the monitors now. At least you've given someone a good time. While you don't need to return the plants to where you found them, you feel sure your mother would be proud of you. Larry, that's the women's shower. You can't go in there. Not if you expect to live long. The men's shower room is completely lined with tile, causing a wonderful echo when you walk and a deep, rich resonance when you talk. The men's shower room is completely lined. The men's shower room. There's not much to do in the shower room except take. If you want to take a shower. What? Where? You can't see anything over there. What are you doing? Powder finished baked enamel on 14 gauge steel makes for an attractive, if still odious, locker bay. Oh, how embarrassing. La Costa Lotta hangs a painting of a naked woman right here, where a guy might glance at it while undressing and get, uh, you know, <clears throat> interested or something.
Sweetie, I thought you'd never ask! Oh no, what have I done? And as Larry and Gary Ferry float off into the sunset together, we all think, what an ignominious end to a sterling career as the ultimate swinging single. Halt! Who goes there? It's me, Larry Laffer. <laughs> I was just going to walk to town, find a swinging discotheque, pick up some single babes. You know, just normal kind of resort stuff. That's what you think, fella. No one's allowed to leave the premises of La Costa Lotta without checking in with me, here in the gatehouse. From here, you can see the front of the imposing luck. Daryl the Gate Guard, head of La Costellata's crack security force, seems to be very engrossed in the new TV season. Or something. Daryl is so absorbed in your new television spectacular, you are able to remove the handcuffs without his detection. Look what I brought you, Miss Thunderbird. A genuine pair of chrome-plated, serial-numbered, auto-latching, inexpensive resort cop handcuffs. I only hope you'll find them acceptable. Jeez, Taiwan again. You know how fast the chrome wears off these babies? Oh, well, at least you made the effort. Tell you what. I'll go back to my room and get dressed up. You stop by later. And don't take too long, either. You got it? But I... Shut up! I'm out of here. And don't be late! Uh, but, uh, but, uh, what room are you in? You fondle the still warm, heavy-duty, wide rubber belt that's now hanging unused from the chassis of the Supercellulite Bun Shaker 600. 
You remove the wide rubber belt from the Super Cellulite Bun Shaker 600. This naked man is only placed here for the prurient pleasures of the female game players. My wife, quick, madam, into the closet and take that taster's choice with you. Quick, Bill, turn off the video camera. Your ex-wife's at the door. Woolard's world of leather? I'll be right there. Oh, it's you. I was, um, <gasps> expecting someone else first. But don't worry. Thanks for coming, Larry. I'm so happy to see you again. Uh, nice room, Thunderbird. I've never seen a place quite like this before. I bet I've got a lot of things here you've never seen before. Oh boy. I've fixed you a drink. Help yourself. It's on the table. I can tell how much you enjoy your gold chains. Yes, I, I do. Uh, to me, they're a sign of virility. Whatever. Allow me to add a little ring around your collar. What? Uh, do I really need to wear this? <laughs> it feels like a dog collar. It is, my naughty little puppy. But it is a very nice collar for a very nice little doggy. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Larry? May I help you undress? Well, I... Uh... <sighs> Say, what the hell kind of date is this anyway? Down on your hands and knees, dog. Sit, boy. Sit up. Speak. Woof. Louder. I can't hear you. Woof. Yes, that's right. You're the puppy dog, and I'm the mommy dog. Well... You are quite the bitch. You awaken from an especially bad nightmare with a start. No! 
Oh, thank heaven. It was only a dream. Oh, really? Then where did you get that dog collar?